This series was presented by the National Dropout Prevention Center, a division of SPN, the Successful Practices Network. Improving attendance to reduce learning loss was presented to the South Carolina Department of Education by Dr. Sandy Addis, chairman of the National Dropout Prevention Center. Community support. The community is, can be very important in, in attendance. The external community, particularly the faith community and the business community, can influence attendance by focusing on the importance of the issue or by ignoring it. If, if the, the community ignores school attendance, particularly in small communities like we have so many of in South Carolina, if the community ignores attendance, it tends not to be that good. And if the community understands that school attendance is, is, is a, a part of, of, of learning to be a good adult in this community, because if you attend school well, you're probably going to have good workplace attendance, that type of thing, then uh, the, the attendance tends to be better. Let me give you a couple of, of South Carolina examples. This, this picture is a picture, I was given a, an award that we give at the National Dropout Prevention Center for outstanding achievement in, uh, in dropout prevention. I'm giving that award to Reverend James Davis and there's some of his, his, his wife and some of his, his colleagues. Reverend Davis is the, men, is the pastor of Dunn Creek Baptist Church in Ware Shoals, South Carolina. And Reverend Davis, it was also a bus driver for the district. It was, it was his part-time job. And he decided that to make school success and particularly attendance the focus of his youth ministry at his church. Now think about that for a minute. How would you go about doing that? You got, got dozens, if not a hundred young kids that participate in the youth ministry of the church. And the, the focus of the ministry becomes attend school and succeed in school and graduate. And he, he did a number, he did uh, uh, had school people come in and do uh, homework help seminars for parents and grandparents. He formed uh, support groups for, for family members, grandparents that were raising kids on their own. And how do you help them get to school? How do you focus on attendance? And in Ware Shoals, South Carolina, Reverend Davis led the initiative to, to improve attendance and improve performance and, and graduation. As a bus driver, he took responsibility for the attendance of his bus riders. Those kids that rode his bus on his route, he took responsibility for the attendance. And he made contacts. He said to the, when the students missed a day, he immediately found out why, he checked on them, and attendance improved. And then he had other bus drivers doing the same thing. And that was part of the faith community, uh, making a focus on attendance. And it worked. It worked very well in Ware Shoals, South Carolina. We will begin today with a community collaboration where one person's efforts foster a strong partnership between the faith community and the school district. Let's meet Reverend James Davis of Ware Shoals, South Carolina. Reverend Davis plays a pivotal role in ensuring that a small rural community sends a unified message to its students. Every student graduates. I think you'll be inspired. Reverend Davis, you just received a, an award that we give once a year in honor of, of a former governor and his wife, uh, Governor Riley, and then he became uh, Secretary of Education uh, under the Clinton administration. So the Riley Award is, is a big deal to us, and, and in dropout prevention, it's a pretty big deal in South Carolina. Um, you, several years ago, you started to focus the youth ministry of your church, as I understand it, of Dunn Creek Baptist Church, on helping students to graduate. What did you do and how did that come about? First of all, I'd like to say that I'm very humbled and honored to receive this award. And uh, I got the impetus from you. Well, thank you. Uh, you came and spoke at our uh, district meeting uh, prior to the school year starting. And you said that we needed to have a motto for our city that would inspire young people to enter school and have the determined uh, termination to graduate and so I uh, started implementing uh, you know everybody in where shows graduates then it kind of grew from there and so uh, when the school year started uh, I had a motto for my school bus I drive uh, route 8 so I said all right everybody this is bus 8 on bus 8 we be good we be great and we do what <laughs> <laughs> All right, there, girl.
good faith. And so we just kept those things up. And each morning, uh, when my students get off the bus, whether at the primary, elementary, middle, or the high school, I, I give them a quote or, or something of inspiration to them to help them to go through uh, the school day to keep on their minds. Dunn Creek Baptist Church is, is a rural church outside of Ware Shoals, South Carolina, out in the, out in the countryside. Mm -hmm. um, and you did some things at the church too. You engaged some of the adults in this process. What else did you do at the church? Well, first of all, I like to say that Ware Shoals is the biggest little city in South Carolina. <laughs> okay. uh, and at Dunn Creek Baptist Church, um, we implemented uh, what we call a back to school bash. Uh, and what we did was, if we're going to be a holistic ministry, we need to have everybody involved, just not the spiritual part, but education, a good secular education is, is, is what's needed to live in this world. Uh, so we invited uh, people like guidance counselors. Uh, one year we invited the principal, Principal Brown from the elementary middle school, uh, because there was a transition in our school makeup. So she came and spoke to our students uh, along with the parents that were there so that they could understand the transition. We have things as, such as student recognition days uh, where all the students who graduate that year and what awards they receive, uh, what accomplishments they made, they made, were they on the AB honor roll, all A honor roll, that kind of thing. So we, we, we promote education uh, in our church because it's very important very important. How did the, the, the adults react? You, you were encouraging the adults to support the kids. How did the adults react? Well, it's very important because, uh, first of all, it's your responsibility as an adult to see that your child receives a good education. Uh, it's the school's responsibility to make sure that there's a good uh, educational environment and so when children come home, it's important for the parents to make sure that the home is conducive for learning. When they get off the bus, I tell them, go in there, get you something to eat, do your homework, go outside and play, go to bed early, get up early, we'll do it all over again. You, you have to inspire people. And a lot of times when I say that, the parent is standing right there. Okay. Let me give you another example of, of a, a community engagement. Now, this, this, this program that I'm about to tell you about uh, no longer is, is in place. It has you know, many programs when people move along and different personnel changes occur. Uh, you know, programs come and go. But this was in Anderson, South Carolina. In Anderson, back in the 90s, there was, a group, there was a group of people that were very concerned about uh, education. There still are a lot of people concerned about it, but it's different people. But at the Chamber of Commerce in Anderson, the chamber had, and I was got to participate in this, the reason I, I'm familiar with it, the chamber had an education uh, committee. How do we help improve education in Anderson County? Back in, the Anderson has five school districts. Uh, but this was back in the 90s. And they came up with this. They came up with something called the report card project. And here's the way the report card project worked. The chamber reached out to, to all the, the member businesses. And they said, look, we want you to help us with something. If you employ students, we're going to, you know, part-time student workers, which there's hundreds of in the county, we're going to give you as employers, as business owners and business managers, we're going to give you the schedule of when report cards come out. And what we would like for you to do, if you've got two employees or, or 50, we would like for your, your, your supervisors of employees, the supervisors of, if, of student workers and the supervisors of, of adult workers who have, have students in school, we would like for you, when the report cards come out, to say to the student, could I see your report card? And let me see your grades and your absences. And if you have parents who are working for you, we would like for your managers to say to them when report cards come out, how was your student's report card? How were their absences and how were their grades? 
Now think about that for a minute. And this actually happened. They had hundreds of businesses that committed to participate back in the 90s. And what that did was it said to the students, I guess school attendance is important. My boss says so. Somebody beside the teachers say so. It said to parents, as your employer, we value your students' success. And of course, what that meant was a lot of parents probably went home and said, where's that report card? I didn't know you got one, you know, they had that kind of thing. But you also had a, a movement. You had people saying this and hundreds of people saying it to, to parents and to, to students. You know, school attendance and grades are important. Now, there was no punishment. There was no, uh, your, your grades are bad. You can't work here or anything. It was just to the student, I'd like to see your report card. May I see your report card? That's all they ask. And they were focusing on attendance and school success. So the point being that the community can do things. So if you've got a particularly a, a small community like, you know, Ware Shoals or Anderson or Florence or, or some, you know, uh, Somerville, some of these, the, these places in South Carolina, if you've got a community where you can have some kind of movement and get the community to focus on attendance and focus on school success, it can make a difference. They can, they can send the message. The kids and the families expect us to preach attendance. They don't expect their, their supervisor down at the, at the store or the plant to preach attendance.